Continental Toy Spaniels can be found in two breed varieties. The Papillon, which translated from French means butterfly, and the Feline, meaning moth. The charming and lively lap dog is one of the smallest, but also one of the most intelligent of all dog breeds. History and origin of the Continental Toy Spaniel The breed originates from Europe, but it is also assumed it was brought from East Asia by explorers such as Marco Polo towards the end of the 13th century. Toy Spaniels were first seen on paintings and frescoes in Italy in the 13th and 14th centuries. They were often depicted together with children and noblemen, which suggests that they were kept as pastime as a kind of luxury dog. Although the dog can be first traced to Italy, France is also mentioned as a country of origin, because it is to this nation that we owe the preservation of the breed. At royal courts, the small dogs were welcome companions, but by the end of the French Revolution, they became less popular. However, towards the end of the 19th century, the breed enjoyed a renaissance in Belgium and France. Appearance of the Continental Toy Spaniel While the Papillon has large, protruding ears, reminiscent of butterfly wings, the Feline has drooping, flat ears. According to the breed standard, the shoulder height may be around 28 cm. Dogs are divided into two categories by weight. Firstly, into the 1.5 to 2.5 kg category, and secondly, into the 2.5 to 4.5 kg category. Bitches may be slightly heavier. The dog's life expectancy is between 12 to 15 years. The Spaniels have luxuriant, silky, shiny and sometimes slightly wavy fur without an undercoat. One advantage of this is that the coat does not smell bad when it gets wet. Their characteristic ears are richly filled with hair. For their coat colors, almost all shades of lemon, sable over red or brown until almost black are allowed on a white primary color. White should be the dominant color on their legs, but too much white on the head is seen as a breeding error. A white blaze on the head is allowed and encouraged. In all cases, their lips, eyelids and principally their nose should be pigmented. The head of the toy spaniel is small and rather roundish, which, with its expressive dark and almond-shaped eyes, gives the dog a childlike look. It carries its fringed and luxuriant tail over its back in a curved manner. Temperament and training of the Continental Toy Spaniel The little dog is vivacious, charming, sensitive and rather proud in its appearance. It is also alert, playful and friendly and usually gets on well with other dogs. They especially like to be together with their family with whom they love to play with and get cuddles from all day long. The dogs are quite empathetic and are sensitive to loud arguments, which can sometimes leave them feeling depressed. Because of their sensitive nature, they are often used as therapy dogs. With love and empathy, they are quite easy to train and they respond particularly well to praise. Exercise and care of the Continental Toy Spaniel the active and robust dogs are well suited to dog sports such as dog dance or agility courses and they love going on long walks in all weathers. As a remnant of its ancestral nature, the dogs like to track or chase. During walks, it's best to occupy them with retrieving sticks or balls to stop them chasing off after small game. Toy Spaniels are generally a healthy breed but they can suffer from patellar luxations, allergies and diseases of the eyes, as well as mispositioned teeth. Their coats don't need to be trimmed or cut. Just occasional brushing with a soft brush is sufficient.